Well, happy Thursday. It is a much more active picture on radar than what we saw just say 24 hours ago with most of the activity off to the north of us. But as we look at what's going on in central Texas right now, you notice that temperatures are already starting to fall as that line of showers and that cold front continue to move through the area. So let's track this here for you hour by hour. This is your look at seven o'clock, just a little less than 30 minutes from now. And as that cold front continues to sweep through, we're going to start to see that some showers associated also take place. So go ahead and grab those umbrellas as you head out the door if you haven't already. But also notice, look how much cooler these temperatures are in some of our western zones. Usually around this time, we're bordering that 90 degree mark. Some areas not even making it to the 80s by the time we reach one o'clock, and that is because of that late season cold front. Thank goodness. Then as that cold front continues to sweep through into your Thursday afternoon, we'll continue to see the milder temperatures for those highs today, only topping out into the mid 80s. But then by the time we get into your Thursday night, we're still going to be a bit above average because that cloud coverage is going to continue to build back in as we head to bed. So. The good thing about this system is the severe weather threat very, very low. Just some lightning as well as some windy gusts are going to be the main impacts that we see. Can't also rule out that we could see a couple of hail. Haven't seen that here this morning, however. So when it comes to this drought monitor, we get a new one later on today and we see some of our western zones still in that exceptional drought. Well, unfortunately, this system is really not going to bring us much relief from our drought situation because really don't pick up that much rain. Less than half an inch in many of our areas and less than an inch in some of our western zones. So unfortunately, we're not going to see that heavy rain that we need that soaker to really make an impact. So very, very little relief will probably show once this new drought monitor gets released. But the good news is a little bit of good news for you. We're going to see that those highs are going to be in the mid 80s, upper 80s for your Friday with another chance for showers. But then this first weekend of June, still going to be on the toasty side. Plenty of sunshine with those highs topping out into the lower 90s, a warmer night. And then as we get into your Sunday, we're going to see that those highs jump right back up to the above average highs and to the upper 90s. So we get that quick relief from the heat today and tomorrow, but then we don't get a cool down at all coming up in the near future. Just look at what these highs are going to do. And during this seven day forecast, we're jumping up to the upper 90s in Central Texas and the Brazos Valley close to that triple digit mark there on your Monday. Humidity is also going to be back in play. And for Tuesday, we could see our first triple digit day here in Central Texas as well as in the Brazos Valley. And that still will put us ahead of schedule from when we usually would see it. That day usually comes July 4th. We're still going to be in early June by the time we have that possibility then upper 90s. Plenty of sunshine is where we're going to remain by the time we get into the middle of next week. So enjoy these cooler temperatures while they last because they do not stick around.